Hello, and welcome back to The Broken Doll. All right, tonight I come to you with the f and dolls again. Now, especially the little one here that I'm working on. Now, here's the thing about these, uh, what's happening here. I thought these eyes, I've been anxious to get them into a doll's head, so I think I was just trying to put them into the small head, but they don't work on her. They don't go to her. I actually found the doll's head that, that um, gets these, and it has little grooves where this fits into. So I am going to continue with painting them and getting them ready because they do need to be done regardless. But these are her eyes right here. Now all I'm going to do is just the tops. The whites are pretty good on these. Um, I think they, they look pretty good. So I'm going to let them be. And these do fit her a lot better. They're smaller. Everything about them speaks her, of course. I couldn't find um, number four, um, Bubbles' eyes. I couldn't find what I did with her jar. I've got two sitting over yonder there. but the, no, I, So that's one, two, three, four. And I couldn't find the fourth jar. I found it way over there. How it got there, I don't know, but it did. But anyhow, um, all the same. Now, I had to paint some doll's heads today because I thought with with everything going on with my daughter being sick, I kind of got out of my routine of where I was with the dolls and painting their heads. So I found out that I wasn't caught up to where I should be. And need, they needed a few more layers of paint. Did that. They're, they're drying right now. So anyhow, I'm moving forward. But one of the things that I found, that's why I got my flashlight down in here. When I was looking at the eyes and what eyes went into this doll's head, I realized when I looked down here, there was a newspaper down inside of here. And all I see is the words end. What do I see here? I see N-G-T-O-N, AB. I'm wondering if this little newspaper, now it's not much to go by, is Washington Ave. I'm going to try to show it to you if I can. I'm going to get up here and put a light in there and maybe you can see it down inside. Put the light there and can you see... I'm going to go different areas of... I don't know what it's in there for, but it's in there and it says Ington Ave which I'm wondering if it's Washington Ave. Anybody in the United States know if there's a Washington, probably there's Washington Ave everywhere, you know, type of thing. But anyways, I thought that was interesting. All the same to find that in there. These dolls can be interesting. The things we find. But it doesn't matter. She's got to be sealed up and put on her body later. But I thought that was interesting. For some reason, that little piece of newspaper got caught up in there. And I saw the words N-G-T-O-N Ave. All right, so what I want to do is, is get my small little brush out and just brush the tops of these here because they do need it really bad. And um, I think that would be good for them. I just want to give them a quick little wipe with some. No, I don't want to do much. Just kind of go like this with them. That's enough. There. See, it's just not the right, um, what do you call it? Color. So we need to make them the same as, as her body. Now, I just took my little brush. Oh, yeah, here it is right here. My daughter didn't want this little brush. She said she had no use for it. And I went, oh, I want it. It's, and you know what? It came in a cheap set of brushes that she bought. And I like to know where she got it from. And the only thing is that the silver thing, oh, I want it to come off all the time. Come on, stay on. That's the only downside to it. But I love the brush on this thing. It's beautiful. Oh, my word. But anyways, what I'm going to do, oh my goodness, I can't reach down there with this thing. I'm going to have to get like a little uh, dish to put some paint in. Uh, seems to be one thing after the other here. Okay, we're going to get a little cup. There we go. This I can throw away. It's just a little plastic pudding cup. And we'll just put a little tiny bit of paint. We don't need much. I wonder if I can just go like this. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. That works. <laughs> just go around the edges. I don't even need to do that. So all I'm going to do is do the tops of the eyes, the same color. It might need a couple coats. I can hear Porky out there, my cat, our cat Porky. I fed him. That boy can eat. There we go. Now, I'm going to need my other pair of glasses so I can see right up close to that line. There we go. I just put two pairs of glasses on each other. Oh yeah, there we go. 
Now your first coat of paint won't determine a whole lot. It's just your first, it's the second or maybe even the third. It gets itchy can itchy right around this area of the of the eye. I don't think it's too okay, that's alright. I guess I did okay. I would rather repaint it than have it lying too close to the eye there. Yeah, there we go. There. Oh, that's better. Okay. Now, like I said, this one's streaky, and it will be. Just understand when you put your first coat on, it's going to be a little on the streaky side. Um, it will get better on your next coat of paint. So I'm going to do this again. Ooh, I'm seeing a little bit different here. Okay. Doesn't take a whole lot of paint either, you know, so there we go. Alright, so now we're gonna go right here. paint on here. Ooh, that's good. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Here we go. All right, there they are. They're looking really nice. And um, that's all you do. And I'll be coming back and put like, uh, I'll probably wait a couple days and I'll do another couple, uh, another coat of paint on top until I feel that they are really well covered. They look the same as the doll. That's all you have to do. And um, yeah, they look great. Um, can't wait to get them back in here so she's seen. We got her teeth in now. We got everything else into her. Everything looks just fantastic on her. So um, it's just a matter of getting this part done. And it just takes a lot of um, steadiness. Um, just keeping your hands steady and you'll, you'll get there though with it. And um, yeah, um, really happy with that. Can that, I don't want to put that in there. No, no, no. Well, I guess I'm going to have to find a place to put this now. One of the things I want to um, have attached, uh, get attached to her, her is her legs. Um, that's my next thing to attach is the legs. Um, I don't want to, um, I, I can do that on the body itself. I just don't want to put the body on because I got to put the eyes up inside. Um, I got to also, oh, whoops, I got to also attach her arms. And I'm still wondering, should I go with the coil or should I go with the, um, just tether it? I'm really going towards tethering it. But like I said, I really want to keep as much outwardly than inwardly um, to the original, you know, as much as possible. So, uh, lots to think on there. Well, it's not like, you know, heavy, <laughs> heavy thinking just which way to go. But um, yeah, anyhow, um, I don't know. Maybe I should try the coil, see how it works, you know. Um, 
I, there's no right or wrong to it. If the coil works pretty good with her, maybe I'll keep to the coil, you know. It is what is original to her. I know I'm, I'm back and forth. I said I wasn't going to take her legs off. I took her legs off. Um, I thought I was going to do them right on the body, but then I the body was so dirty, and then it's so ripe, and it, a lot of other things start to come up. As you're saying these things, you're going, I should not have said that, because now i got to take the legs off. Now i got to make a pattern for the body, and it's just on and on and on. Um, I see ideas in my head that I want to do, but um, sometimes they just don't manifest. So um, I try to think up ahead what I like to do, and sometimes I speak it right on the camera, and then I don't do it. I do something different, but it's just how it goes. Um, you're you're seeing it unfold um, as I'm actually in the doing the doll, and um, so you waver back and forth. But it is what it is. But um, I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing here. Um, these eyes will dry now, and uh, we'll get them. Um, looking pretty on her that oh I just love that how nice they they turned out on top of her her head uh, her the top of the eyes how nice they turned out so they look really nice um I'm still thinking I don't think I need to color the whites the whites look pretty good you know I cleaned them up a little bit gave them a little bit of a white they look pretty good there so I'm really thinking that they're they're fine you know so um I think I'm going to keep them just the way they are. These ones, of course, they needed it. Um, they actually need another coat of white going across around here now. They are dry. I'm not getting anything from them. So I think I'll put another coat of white on them later. And um, yeah, we also have to paint the tops. And while I got the paint out, I should maybe do the tops right now while I got you here. So let's go for it. Can't hurt anything. Let's do, let's, let's do her. There we go. We, we are here, so I just thought about, see, this is what I mean, like, um, I do things as I, as I see to do them, you know, and there we go. Just kind of go, I just go with the flow, and you got to find that halfway point here, too. These eyes are in rougher condition too. They're a little bit more scratched up and they're not as nice looking as some of the other eyes I I have here. So yeah, getting on the, the eye itself. Yeah, there we go. Which is too bad because um, I might be able to do some touch-ups on them. I'm hoping to. So Okay, there's the top of that one done. <sighs> they want to fall. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit too much paint on there. There we go. Now we'll do the top of this one here. out with my daughter today we went out to Walmart and we got some more Christmas shopping done no we didn't we didn't buy much like I say we're trying to keep Christmas you know within a certain amount of money and you know like we, we, we're keeping within our budget and everything but we did buy a few little things here and there more for the the animals for Christmas a few little you know doodads to kind of have some fun with them on Christmas too you know so we bought the dog a pair of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer pajamas. There we go. He's going to wear pajamas on. <laughs> oh, the funny things you can do with animals. But anyways, there we go. So we're going to let that be. Let them dry. And it's not the first coat of paint. It's always the ugly coat, I call it. And then it gets better and better as you move along. Um, boy, these eyes are in really rough condition. I'm going to see about um, if I can do some work with them later. And um, we'll see what we can do just to brighten this one up. This one's not too bad. It's this one right here. It's pretty scratched up. So anyways, let's get that right there like that. All right. I hope you enjoy what you've seen. More to come of all this wonderful stuff. And um, this is where it takes you right now. You just sit back and you just let stuff dry. So I hope you enjoyed what you've seen here. Lots more to come, like I say. And thank you for dropping in and visiting my channel and, um, you know, uh, supporting me. And I really do appreciate you. And um, 
I hope that you're enjoying what you're seeing here, the step-by-step. -step. It's slow, and especially for me, it's slow because, I, you know, life gets in the way, and a lot of others, I, I come out as much as I can. I've been coming out pretty much every night now, and um, things are picking up in, in the right way for me now. So hopefully as time goes on, I'll be able to get more, I will be able to get more and more time to come out here and just enjoy my shop. So thanks for joining me. Hit the subscribe button if you're just dropped in and you've never, you you want to see more of what I do I do appreciate it and um, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I do read them thanks again for dropping in bye bye